Hello, this is the Daily Forex Report for September 28th. We are looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair first. This pair broke to the downside, basically in line uh, with previous sideways movement before we moved to the upside real strong during this session. Uh, we are overall long-term moving sideways, have been moving to the downside briefly over the past couple of sessions. Uh, but if you look a little bit longer term, moving sideways. Now, we are looking for it to potentially go up and hit some resistance around 84.40 possibly moving down and hitting support around 83.50. Okay, let's take a look at the Euro USD pair. This pair continues to move to the upside. Every day it seems like that we get a pullback uh, for a day or two. We surge higher the very next day. So uh, definitely keep looking for this to move to the upside, possibly up to 136.77, possibly down to 133.07. Look for some resistance around 136.00. And look for some support around 135.05. Okay, now looking at the pound US dollar pair, this pair moved to the downside, did break uh, a new high uh, over the past session or two, but pulled back a lot as well, back into previous uh, areas of resistance that would now be support. Uh, closed up. Overall, this pair is moving to the upside. Look for it to potentially go as high as 159.78 possibly as low as 156.37. Look for some resistance around 158.95 and look for some support around 157.25. Okay, now the U.S. Swiss, this pair surged to the downside, broke previous support, is moving to the downside still. Look for it to potentially, if we get a reversal, go up to 0.9934. Possibly down to 0.9669. Look for some resistance around 0.9815 and look for some support around 0.9725. Okay, now, now there's no real news announcements, uh, any significant news announcements anyway for tomorrow's session. So let's take a look at some trades. I looked on the hour time frame, really didn't see anything that I really liked. Uh, so let's drop down to the four hour and see if we see anything. We have an inside bar here in the U.S. Swiss. So we could potentially look to uh, look for a breakout. Well, up to the upside, it's definitely going to be a good ways on the four hour time frame. You'd have to get up to this point and then really let's zoom out a little bit. You're not uh, not going to gain much if you break out to the upside because you can see that we have some pretty strong resistance there. So it wouldn't be much of a breakout to the downside. Uh, we've been moving to the downside such a long ways. There's no telling where you could potentially exit. One thing we could do is look to uh, a break of this high and look to, to go up to the next area of next area of uh, potential support or resistance uh, in this. Now those are five pips away. So you may want to come up to the to the next area which would be in this particular area right here. That'd be a little bit stronger of a move, about 32 pips. Let's see if we can make this a little more legible. There we go. Okay, well, let's take a look at the pound US dollar pair. Uh, this particular pair created a swing trade setup here um, over the past couple of sessions. It didn't break out during this bar, so that's definitely something to look at. Do you have a potential for a breakout uh, from this inside bar right here that was created break out by here look to come up to the high and exit uh, potential sell and Look to come on down maybe into this area where we have previous support Let's just set that up real quick again So potential There we go. We got a potential here for a buy to the upside for about a 45 pip move, 46 pip move. If we come on down to this area, maybe you go, if it continues lower, maybe breaks on down and hits some previous areas of support, uh, resistance here and support here, and we are able to grab 50 or so pips. Let's take a look at the Euro USD pair. This pair is pretty, uh, pretty easy to look at. What I would look for is this window here, window of opportunity. Look for a sell. Look for it to come down here and hit uh, this resistance, which would now be support. 
and grab those 50 pips there. Okay, the US Japanese yen pair, similar setup here. We got a pullback. If we get a pullback that goes far enough, we're gonna have it uh, have it go between these two areas for about a 10 pip run. Not much of a run there, but nonetheless a buy up to this point um, and then exit out would be uh, be pretty easy to see. New Zealand, same deal. We have a potential short right here going down about 10 pips. And in the Australian US dollar pair, we have another window here of about 12 pips. So not sure you want to take those or very quick trades. You definitely want to keep your stop losses quick if you're doing a quick trade like that. Um, you know, I'd, I'd keep it in the 15 range just in case it reverses on you. Well, that, uh, that about wraps us up for today. Until next time, this is Jason Filder. Good trading.